yeah, I'm hearing some hand warmers going on right now. Oh, I guess it's just set, actually. Oh, just so we're going right to get started. It. Okay, they just want to start. Yeah, so played a few days ago, right, Dark Gen X, but it didn't really look all super competitive. I think it was a 3-1 in that previous set at Verdugo. So, I mean, we got to see what Android Zero can bring to the table to kind of shift the narrative a little bit going into this set. For sure. And Android Zero is definitely the kind of player to study his previous sets and just, like, watch and make sure he learn what he's doing wrong. So, we'll see what happens. But S2J does seem to be up a stock right now. Yeah, as we speak, S2J just continuing to impress as always but big knee from android zero he's continuing the pressure on the ledge but it's just a quick reversal and just like that s2j gets out yeah and it's just like a difference in the punish game because both of them are getting these clean stomp openings clean upper openings and just like s2j is getting so much more whenever he hits a knee yeah a little bit of a miss cases. by the right ledge but s2j still makes it count regardless and it's exactly like you said justin the difference in punish game even in those situations where s2j looks like he kind of slips up on the edge guard and doesn't complete it fully he still goes the distance it also seems like he has like just a read on what android zero is going to do like in the previous edge guard situation he knew that android zero was going to aerial like from where the ledge was and he like went back and back aired whereas in the previous stock he just went down and back aired like near the ledge and it got the stock and he just it seems like he knows what andrew zero is going to do and it's doing really well yeah andrew zero finds ledge right there but cannot reverse the knee that's pretty huge second up air into me is going to do it right there but it is a full stock deficit in this game one it's not not doable but this is looking like sga's game so andrew zero is going to need to step it up and do something but three stock to one lead zero percent Looking kind of rough. Yeah, bit of a mix up there as well. Just goes for the straight back air. I think a lot of Falcons in this day and age kind of expect a reverse knee at that point, or maybe an up air extension or something like that. Just kind of closes it out in some wonky DI. Makes this a two stock game, but S2J is going nuts again. His tech chase has been so on point. Oh, he's done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he went for the stop off stage, too. He didn't. Doing it for the fans. So a commanding yeah. three stop from S2J game one. Yeah, very, very challenging. I mean, we did see, like we mentioned before, at Verdugo just five days ago, Android Zero did get a game on the board here. Uh, you kind of wonder what kind of adjustments need to be made, though, on his side. I mean, he's doing a fine job at walling him out in the situations when he has center stage. It's just John is just so hard off of these punishes, and it's like Android Zero's got to beat him in neutral more times to compensate. That was insane the side b barely dodged the back air and we was able to get a kill with double backer off of it i i've never seen side b get used like that before yeah it almost looked like the pullback from the raptor boost supported johnny and just completely finding that stock and then the double back air jumping into it of course gets him across the finish line there but just like game one it's off to the races s2j just has a huge lead and he's not letting go unless android zero can take stocks like this uh leads kind of thinning out can we get the tech chase? Okay, yeah, and maybe this is the stage Android Zero needs right now to find early kills like that, because if he can just get a couple conversions, that's all he needs. But again, S2J just ever present. I'm liking these calls with the up airs on S2J's full hops and not getting so much off of them, but it's just good understanding of where S2J is going to be and calling out the positioning. Sure. Great need to cover the like, jump out of shield as well. Yeah, far more competitive game than game one so far, keeping stocks rather even, but the pattern has been consistent throughout. SUJ has been striking first almost every time. There's the Raptor boost again that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, he's using the pullback so well. Like that time it was offensively and also to mix up um, jumping out of shield. And gets another upper to take the stock. So just jabbing back and forth. Playing pretty patient, trying to get center. Okay, yeah, big back air. And again, just so much mileage multiple times and just closes that one out with the stomp. But so many times, we even saw it in the first stock of game one. S2J just goes for that rising up air from ledge and Android Zero has just not caught on to that yet. And it's been costing him full stocks every single time he looks to recover to ledge. He's also been mixing up jumping off stage and back air like we saw in the first game. So it's not like he's going to be getting away for free by just jumping out. And the mix-ups that SJ has been doing like near the ledge are just making it so hard for Andrew to recover. Absolutely. S2J knocking on the door with 3-0 here. The counter pick is Dreamland. Let's see if Android Zero can find one to get on the board here. But it starts with one again. S2J huge, almost zero to death here. Yeah. 
I think Andrew Zero went here because he was trying to get more space to see how this would go, because both Battlefield and Yoshi's are pretty, like, condensed stages. But I think the space is actually working out for SJ more. And another Raptor boost into a knee. Oh, my God. What was that DI? That was... I don't know what he was going for. Maybe, like, a tech on the side of the platform, maybe? I'm not really sure, but... SJ has got a pretty commanding lead right now. Yeah, as we speak, Android Zero getting the most percent per stock right now in this third one. But again, it is a huge mountain to climb for this Dark Falcon here. And S2J is just going to take it all the way again. Okay, breaks I mean, out. He's doing pretty well in getting like these tech chases. He just isn't getting kills. And I think that's the main difference between S2J and Android Zero, where mm -hmm. it's like Android Zero is winning neutral. He's getting these tech chases, but it's when S2J does the same thing, he gets a kill off of it. Android Zero isn't. Yes, yeah, and I mean, it's obvious, it's stupid when people listen to it on commentary, but it's like, if you don't find the stocks, you can't win the game, and that's the biggest yeah. problem here. Exactly, especially in a matchup in Falcon Falcon, where, okay, okay, but it's on the board, clean movement after the back air, too, so he's still in it. This tech chase is huge. Grab. Big tech if, chase, yeah. If he can convert off this into a stock, it might be able like, could be an even game. Okay, yeah, get shield up in time, though, to block the Nair, and it's kind of back to neutral again with slight advantage to Android Zero, but just like that, SGJ can just turn it around with single pair of hits, just like that. It's crazy. His punish is so, so good. Yeah, and I, I do think it's like you're saying, Justin, the name of the game has just been efficiency right now. It, it really feels like S2J has just made these stocks look easy so far. And Android Zero is just kind of, he's doing a great job, don't get me wrong, but it looks like he's working so hard to find these finishers. Pulling out of Johnny or SJ's book right now, going for the side B and gets stock off of it too. So, interesting to see his adaptation. But, knee's nice gonna and reverse knee, yeah. Or not. Really wow, smart. Wow, nice Black mix. Yeah. I love the tomahawk shield grab that I just did off the power shield. But, he's probably dead. And just and like that, it's a 3-0, a fist bump. And our first match of Group A is done. That was lightning fast. Like, such a quick set. And I think it's not its not even that Android Zero was playing bad or anything. It's just S2J was on point with all of his punishes, hitting everything off of the tech chases. And Android Zero was keeping up in neutral and movement-wise was going pretty fast too. It's just like S2J's punish is just so optimized, especially in the Falcon matchup where he yeah, of course. should know what he's doing. Yeah, I think when we look at that Group A, S2J, I would I would assume just clear favorite here for sure for the number one seed. But, I mean, all things considered, for it being a 3-0, I'm pretty excited to see what else Android Zero is going to bring to the table. Because, I mean, he's an incredible player. We've seen some really awesome clips of him in recent memory. And it's always interesting to have a Falcon in a round 